The overall goal of this video protocol is to experimentally demonstrate the electrochemical performance and Fourier transform infrared-based state of charge diagnostics of a symmetric non-aqueous PTIO-based redox flow battery. So this symmetry can answer key questions in the grid energy storage field, such as how people can make sure the flow battery are running safely and reliably, especially in the long-term operations. The main advantage for this technique is that the battery's state of charge can be determined through simple, cost-effective Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy that is also integrable for real-time monitoring. Generally, individuals new to this technique will struggle because in flow batteries, the solvent and supporting electrolytes will have very strong interferences during the quantification of the electroactive material. We first had this idea when we discovered PTIO has an absorption peak distinguishable from the solvent and the salt, and is among the other oxidation states. All electrochemical tests, including cyclic voltammetry and flow cells, are performed in an argon-filled glove box with water and oxygen levels of less than 1 ppm. Assemble the cyclic voltammetry setup in a 25 milliliter three-neck pear-shaped flask with a polished glassy carbon working electrode, a graphite felt strip counter electrode, and a silver-silver nitrate 10 millimolar reference electrode. Next, dissolve 52 milligrams of PTIO and 0.87 grams of tetrabutyl ammonium hexafluorophosphate in 1.1 grams of acetonitrile.